doled up using night on the town palette so that one can get ready for going out. First the day tan makeup. Here I'm applying the foundation with a foundation brush. I'm using vanilla bisque and I'm making sure it's got a porcelain look with the dual fiber brush. The S187. Now I'm taking whipped cream and using the blush brush and applying it as a highlight above the cheekbones. First we're starting off with the daytime look so that one can then move on. Highlighting the bits where the sun naturally would hit so that have a highlight and now applying the blush sunset. To make sure that you get the apples of your cheeks, smile and then apply. I'm using here more blush than I would as it's going to be more a dull effect and going down like as if it would be with dolls that have had a bit of sun. Now I'm using the colour brick and using it as a contouring agent going up up to the temples and around the bottom jawline and making sure that the contours are nice and sharp but without sharp edges or edges that make sure. Now using the concealer I'm taking the light beige and using the Sigma 194 and applying it underneath the eyelid at the bottom area towards inwards towards the nose creating a triangle so that the eyeshadows are not to be seen and one has a smoother facial expression. Making sure that one blends that nicely. One doesn't need a lot of product. Now using the foundation brush I applied the foundation with and just smoothing that out and blending it in with the colour. This ensures the right colour and now once again with the dual fibre S187 making sure that the airbrush look applies also there. Now using the small brush S239 I'm applying the eyeshadow moonlight over the whole of the eyelid. Do it in a dabbing action otherwise you will have too much fallout. This is a very skin coloured tone but it has a lovely shimmer to it. So you will see it in the sunlight. Now taking the whipped cream I am applying a highlight just beneath the eyebrows. You do not need a lot of the product and just make sure you go just underneath the eyebrow to open up the eyes. Now going on to sterling silver which is also a shimmer I am now applying with the brush into the crease of the eyelid and then a little V to the lash line. This will give a 3D depth effect of the eye so that you have some definition to the eye but also some sparkle that will look nice during the daytime. In my case it lifts the blue of the eye. Now going into the bottom lash line will make it look more complete and more synergistic. Now taking the 219, I'm going back into the whipped cream and applying it to the front edge of the lash line at the bottom lash line so that it opens up the eyes naturally and then also into the inside of the eye and a little bit onto the top lash line going from the nose to the middle. This will make the eye appear a lot bigger. Now going into charcoal with the same 219 I will apply a little depth to the eye by just using the outer side corner of the eye and just dabbing a little bit of the charcoal. Make sure you get a nice little V that way you're adding more depth and shape to the eye. And apply 
apply a little bit down to the bottom. Taking the blender brush 224, blend the colours into another nice even, so the silver and the black. Now applying black mascara, a thin layer, making sure that the eyelashes look thick and long. An upward motion so that the eyes look round and big. Don't forget the bottom lashes as well. Now using the mahogany lip pencil I am defining the lips to create a good depth and also a clear distinction between the lips and the skin. And then applying the pore shred. As I'm using the travel kit from the Sigma there is no lip brush included in that. So I'm applying the lipstick straight on. Now dolling it up to go a night on the town, I'm going back into the 219 into the charcoal eyeshadow and applying it on the upper lash line and creating a V into the crease as well. Making sure that everything is really heavily marked on there but without applying too much of the shadow. Just make sure it blends nicely. Once again on the upper lash line and into the V of the crease. The definition of the crease is still there with the silver. And now applying also onto the bottom lash line all the way. So from the outer corner to the inner corner. Still using the charcoal eyeshadow. Now play, applying the blender brush, the 224, I'm making sure that the colours blend well with each other so that there aren't too many harsh lines. Now going back into the eyeshadow Sterling Silver and using the Sigma 239, I'm applying the Sterling from the outer corner of the eye into the middle blending nicely into the crease as well. By doing that you will achieve a little bit of a winged look but a very soft look with the sparkle and shimmer of the sterling silver. It will give it a real depth also to, in contrast to the black. On my lips I'm now applying over the Porsche Red Deepest Love Red which is a darker colour and gives it a more sumptuous look. Now going back into the blush sunset and using the blush brush 168 I am applying a <coughs> heavier line of blush to my cheeks. As it is a going out look you want the colours to be a bit more strong but I'm doing this in a more doll like fashion. Going back into the whipped cream, I'm using the same blush brush and using it as a highlight over the full cheeks so that this doll-like glow comes out. Using now the 219, I'm using the same whipped cream and going once over again underneath the eyebrows and applying a stronger highlight underneath the eyebrows in contrast to the heavier rock chick look and using the blender brush the 224 making sure that all the colors are blended and adding another layer of black mascara this time using the eyelashes upwards and outwards so that they're a bit slanted and applying more to the bottom lash line So that generally a heavier usage of the black mascara is applied. Using the charcoal with the foundation brush, the small one which is the 194, I'm going to apply some of the eyeshadow as an eyeliner within on the waterline of the bottom lid.
also using a charcoal midnight black eyeliner pencil I'm lining the eyes on the upper lash line as close as I can get to the eyelashes and blending the colors nicely.